you and roaming across your mind. Thank you so much for still tuning in to iRadio OUM. You're tuned in to OUM Cares. And as usual, for OUM Cares, we have uh, guests in the studios with us. Okay, now with me in the studio is Associate Professor Dr. Siti Aisha binti Hashim Ali, the Deputy Director for Assessment from Institute for Teaching Learning, Teaching and Learning Advancement or ITLA, as well as Encik Muhammad Shahrizan bin Sikiman, also from ITLA. Okay, so welcome doctor, welcome Encik Shahrizan. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for inviting us this morning. Yes, of course. It's our pleasure to have you right here on our radio OUM. Now, today uh, Dr. Siti Aisha and uh, and will talk to us about assignment. I'm sure most of you, most of our learners out there are very anxious about their assignment, very uh, scared, some of them, even of their assignment. Okay, now, of course, let's get right to our topic for today. Um, is, there, is there a specific format or file types and size for the assignment when it is submitted? Oh, okay, uh, first let me begin. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, when we do assessment, any form of learning, mm -hmm. uh, we need to assess how much knowledge that we gain. Mm -hmm. So assessment in OUM, what we practice, we have two, two types. We have, uh, one is a continuous assessment. Mm -hmm. It's done through the assignment. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is the final examination, of course. Mm -hmm. So for assessment, uh, for the continuous ass assessment, mm -hmm. the assignment part, uh, what we have here in OUM is actually um, doing or submitting the assignment mm -hmm. uh, online. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for the uh, submission of the assignment, okay, normally as you start your first semester, first tutorial, okay, mm -hmm. uh, the the itla will upload the questions of, for the assignment mm -hmm. by first tutorial. Mm -hmm. So students should be able to access these mm -hmm. questions, download it, mm -hmm. and uh, it's due by the third tutorial, mm -hmm. okay. So what we have here currently, we allow uh, two two types uh, of document. Mm -hmm. That is the uh, Microsoft Office document mm -hmm. and also the PDF format. Mm -hmm. So you can upload it. I think maximum twenty. Twenty yeah. gigabytes. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can I can add some yes. points here. Mm -hmm. First of all, as a student, uh, mm -hmm. it's a very important to them, mm -hmm. okay, first of all, to read all the instructions mm -hmm. in front of the cover of the assignment question, mm -hmm. okay, there is a detail of the assignment and the requirement that needs to be done mm -hmm. by the student, okay, mm -hmm. first of all, maybe they can check either the, what we call the medium of the uh, language, mm -hmm. either between, um, maybe uh, English, yep. Malay, mm -hmm. okay, or okay, well, it could be Arabic, <laughs> yeah, it's Arabic, and then the second one, uh, the requirement for the submitting the assignment uh -huh. is it via online uh -huh. or to a face-to-face -face, uh, tutor. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, yes, I agree with uh, Dr. Siti. Uh -huh. that, uh, currently, we uh, support for the Microsoft Office and PDF one uh -huh. But yes, but the student must check first the requirement of the assignment question. Uh -huh. But maybe uh, the assignment itself uh, need the student to send. Uh, what we call um, extra file. Extra file, yeah. The ones, especially if you're in music yes. uh, mm -hmm. courses, uh, you have to submit in your music composition. Uh -huh. So that is done through face to face. We call that the multiple file submission. Yeah, okay. Okay. sometimes uh, FITMC students uh -huh. uh, had to send some programs uh -huh. that will support the main file itself uh -huh. okay, to be run smoothly and success successfully uh -huh. by the grader. So it's not just online submission, there are other ways there to submit ways. as well. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, uh, we're going to take a small break first. After the break, we're still going to talk about so assignments. Cool. Okay, so if you want to know more, stay tuned to iRadio OUM.
Radio OU and roaming across your mind. Thank you so much for still tuning in to OUM Cast. In today's installment of OUM Cast, we're talking about assignment. I'm sure a lot of our learners out there are very interested about this topic, this particular topic. Now, with me in the studios, I mentioned the names earlier, but in case you missed it, it's actually Associate Professor Dr. Siti Aishah binti Hashim Ali from ITLA or the Institute for Teaching and Learning Advancement. She's Deputy Director for Assessment and also uh, Encik Muhammad Sharizan Ms. Kirman, also from ITLA. Okay, now, uh, Doctor, I understand you're going to share with us some of the most important things when submitting assignments. Okay, um, from our experience uh, with it in do, doing this uh, over the years, mm-hmm. so it's it's very important that a student has to keep in mind there are certain uh, guidelines that mm-hmm. they have to follow when they want to uh, submit their assignment online. We're talking about specifically the online submission. Mm-hmm. Okay, first, um, student has to make sure that they obtain the question for the right cause. <laughs> okay. So don't get, don't answer the wrong type of questions. Okay. And when you submit, it's important to check that you submitted the right document for your course. Uh-huh. Because uh, normal, normally students will take about three courses per semester. Okay. So there will be about three assignments to uh-huh. be completed. So maybe in your PC or laptop, you have three different documents. Uh-huh. So we have quite a number of cases Right, Shah? Yes. Yes. Uh, that they submit the wrong file I for the wrong see. course. Okay. So that is very important mm-hmm. to double check your 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 file to mm-hmm. make sure it's the right course. Mm-hmm. And then when you submit, it's important that you obtain your receipt mm-hmm. of submission. Yes. Correct, Shah? I yes, I do receipt for the each submission of the assignments uh-huh. for, for the learners. I see. Okay. okay. And then uh, after the student uh, submit the assignment, uh-huh. the student we receive the assignment receipt with the identifi- identification number for each file that, is, that they have. I see. Uh-huh. Submitted. Uh-huh. So this is in case there's something uh, wrong with the file uh-huh. or sometimes you, you submitted it, you upload the file but uh-huh. somehow it gets lost somewhere uh-huh. so we will be able to trace back uh-huh. according to that identification number. Uh-huh. Okay? And uh, as usual, we have deadlines. Uh-huh. And uh, my advice to the learners is to submit early. Uh-huh. Okay, on most dates, the deadline is at 12 midnight. Uh-huh. So please and please do not submit uh-huh. like 11.30, 11.50 <laughs> PM at night. Literally the eleventh hour. Yes. So so we have a lot of um, I mean any system when we have about thirty thousand active students per semester is having the same deadline. Having the same de- deadline is submitting three assignments yes. mm-hmm. at that particular time. Mm-hmm. Of course any system could have gone crash. Yeah. So so submit early. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And if you have a uh, problem for example, uh, you you can upload, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's good that uh, you also inform us, mm-hmm. yeah, Raisha. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Students can uh, inform the, their problems, mm-hmm. okay, via PCRM. Mm-hmm. Okay. They can be found in the my VLE. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And then uh, in addition, uh, okay, mm-hmm. doctor. Okay. Uh, after they submitted their assignment, how did do know that the right file has been sent uh-huh. yeah. into the system. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, okay, I will share with you. Okay, all the uh, the tips. Okay, first, okay, you must download uh, download the assignment directly from the system itself. Meaning mm-hmm. that after you uh, uploading the assignment, you can download it again mm-hmm. in the portal itself. Okay. After you download it and mm-hmm. it appear your assignment that you have uh, uploaded mm-hmm. at the first place. Uh-huh. Is it? The, the right one, the right one mm-hmm. or the false one, <laughs> and then you can resubmit again. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. So you can check. Mm-hmm. You have uh, you upload your, your document, uh-huh. your file, and then you can check. Uh-huh. You download back and uh-huh. see whether you have uploaded the right file. Mm-hmm. If not, we allow resubmission. Uh-huh. So that will help the student. But to do this, you uh-huh. must submit early. In any <laughs> yes, cases, yes, you true. have to submit. Early. You can submit close to midnight of that that due date. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. So okay. it's very important. 
plan your your assignment, plan your submission in mm-hmm. any any when you you are a student, your mm-hmm. learning process. Mm-hmm. It's good to do some kind of planning. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, for example, you have about uh, three weeks uh, to to settle your assignment. Mm-hmm. So maybe in the first week, the first assignment, second week, yeah. second assignment. So that helps a lot. Mm-hmm. Other than everybody jamming into the system at the last minute. Mm-hmm. So my advice, please submit early. Okay. <laughs> So you need to submit early And if you cannot submit Don't panic Okay Don't yeah. panic Get in touch with OUM Through ECRM Correct Correct Okay Now we're going to take a small break Okay Okay And we'll come back with more On assignments after the break So stay tuned to Ari OUM Roaming across your mind Radio UUM roaming across your mind. And thank you so much for still uh, tuning in to iRadio UUM. The segment is UUM Cast. And since we care for our learners, for our students, okay, with me in the studio today is actually Associate Professor Dr. Siti Aisha Bichi Hashim Ali from ITLA, Institute for Teaching and Learning Advancement. And she is sharing with us about assignment, okay. And with her is uh, Shahrizan, who is also from ITLA, who is going to share with us also about assignment. Now, uh, Dr. Siti, uh, if our students if our learners are trying to submit and they still are facing issues when it comes to submission, what can they do? Uh, okay, um, basically uh, the next morning mm-hmm. when the due date, uh, for example, mm-hmm. so the next morning we we'll get a lot of phone calls. So <laughs> one of the quickest way is to call or to email us, uh-huh. but there are other ways. Maybe I let uh, Shah uh-huh. uh, elaborate on this. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, for the students that have any difficulties in submitting uh, their assignments, mm-hmm. okay, uh, you may be advised to contact Encik Shalazi mm-hmm. uh, at 03-2773-2122 mm-hmm. or Puan Nur Jahan okay, at 03-2773-2509. Okay, so you can get in touch with these people. Yes, these two person, okay. and then they will get, uh, they will solve the your problem, mm-hmm. or will get you to the correct person. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, so um, what is it? I, I we am we am we very we try to be very transparent. Okay, uh, can you share with our learners? Uh, what are some of the process that their assignment goes through, the marking process? Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. Uh, because we have a. Uh, big number of students mm-hmm. okay so to be fair uh, and uh, to be consistent mm-hmm. so that's why we did not practice the normal uh, the conventional universities other universities are practicing mm-hmm. whereby your own tutor or your own lecturer grade your assignment I see okay. because uh, our students are spread all across the country mm-hmm. so we have to pull them together all mm-hmm. the assignment mm-hmm. and we have a pool of graders we call them e graders I see okay. uh, so grading will be done online first of all prior to, to the grading process mm-hmm. we have the uh, e grader uh, session training mm-hmm. session with them mm-hmm. so that everybody get the same uh, marking scheme mm-hmm. or the rubrics I to see. mark the assignment mm-hmm. uh, so that uh, the marking is being standardized mm-hmm. one set of standard and uh, it's fair for the students mm-hmm. and uh, because we are doing it online uh, the students get the feedback uh, quite fast mm-hmm. I mean imagine uh, 30,000 students and we manage to, to give back the, the, the marks and the feedback to them before they enter their final mm-hmm. so that is very important uh, when you do your assignment uh, it's important to get back your feedback Marks is another thing mm-hmm. is how much you score mm-hmm. but the feedback from your e grader mm-hmm. as where you are lacking the, the, the topics that you are weak at mm-hmm. so that is important to guide you for your preparation mm-hmm. for your final mm-hmm. so we tried very best in OUM to get that feedback to the student through online mm-hmm. before the final mm-hmm. uh, so I hope uh, with that the student will be, uh, will be able to to, to, to gauge Mm. Their understanding of the subject matter prior going to the final. Mm. 
so it will help the student actually target their weakness yes, you know, uh, areas that they need to work normally the grader on. will put some comment as mm -hmm. to why the marks are a bit low if they do good uh, from my experience when I grade my students uh, I grade for the uh, calculus yeah? mm -hmm. uh, calculus papers so I would tell them mm -hmm. oh good you have done well you have managed to grab some concept for mm -hmm. example differentiation mm -hmm. topic that people doesn't like <laughs> so so uh, it will be good feedback to the student or you are lacking in some areas mm -hmm. uh, for example in mathematics uh, sometimes the subject matter that you are taking you have no problem mm -hmm. but your problem goes back basic to arithmetic oh, so th this kind of feedback we give it to the student mm -hmm. we tell them check out work on your arithmetic mm -hmm. uh, these, mm -hmm. are the, these are the things to improve the students uh, so that you are well prepared for their final mm -hmm. And if I'm not mistaken, this is actually one of the the, 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 the favorite questions of the students. I mean, why aren't my tutors grading my paper? Why is somebody else grading my paper? Now it's answered. Right? Yes, mm -hmm. to, to, to have a standard marking yes. scheme mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then to be able to, to, to cut on the biasness. Yes. Uh, because yes. of, because uh, with the face-to-face -face tutor, mm -hmm. we have people who are strict marker. They are mm -hmm. strict, but they are people who are a bit relaxed. So mm -hmm. um, we don't want that some group of students mm -hmm. in one learning center everybody <laughs> scored yes and then on the other learning center everybody failed their mm -hmm. assignment so it's being standardized and part of our job here in ITLA we monitor mm -hmm. them we monitor the graders mm -hmm. and we train them we monitor them so that would help a lot of students okay now we're going to take a small break first we're going to share more on assignments after the break. So if you want to learn more about assignments, if you want to equip yourself with the right information when completing your assignment, do stay tuned to our Radio OUM. Radio OUM roaming across your mind. Thank you so much for still tuning in to OUM Cares. Okay, now we're talking about assignment. Again, with me in the studios is Dr. Siti Aisha and Shahrizan from ITLA, Institute for Teaching and Learning Advancement. Okay, now uh, I understand that you are going to share with us, Dr. Siti, uh, on similarity check. Can you share with us what is similarity check? Okay, similarity check, or in short, we always say sim check. Okay, uh -huh. sim check. Okay, this is a process that after the grading of the assignment uh -huh. okay we will put through a system uh -huh. that will be able to check any similarity among the uh, all the assignment for that specific course okay? okay so in that in this way uh, we will be able to detect if there are any uh, what do we call similarity uh, meaning uh, if one student in, in copy to another student mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so how many percent of overlapping? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh -huh. And then, and then, if there, what happens if there's similarity? There's actually similarity. Similarity. Okay, the, the, we will check the percentage. We will, uh -huh. we will know how 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 much uh, overlapping of uh, words by words overlapping. I see. Okay. And then uh, marks will be deducted oh, according okay. to that uh, percentages. Uh -huh. So, for example, uh, if you have uh, two assignments, for example, both mm -hmm. at about 10 to 30 percent overlapping, mm -hmm. uh, and then the penalty will be 20 percent will be deducted from, from the marks of the assignment. Oh, so, 20 percent okay. meaning if you have uh, 20 marks, 20 percent if four marks. So, your I four see. marks okay. will be deducted. So, your fine, your marks will be given 16 uh -huh. instead of 20. Uh -huh. Okay, that is for 10 to 30 percent. Uh -huh. Okay, from 31 to 50 percent, uh -huh. the penalty is 40 percent uh -huh. cut. Uh -huh. Okay, and above 50 percent, uh -huh. so we'll give you zero marks, <laughs> okay, meaning uh, that is very much similar. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. uh, so that is the current practice in OUM. I see. Shall would you like to add? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because this comparison uh, made by word by word, uh -huh. the student are advised advisedly to not copy the assignment question I and instruction see. to your answer. Some, okay. Sometimes they copy that yeah. question itself. Uh -huh. So it will be 
Uh, Definitely that part will get some uh, percentages uh, yeah. of being similar. Uh-huh. So answer mm. straight away, right? Yes, mm. answer straight away. Mm. And then uh, we have complaints from the students mm-hmm. that they have uh, they did not copy mm-hmm. from their friends. Mm-hmm. So normally this happen in essay type of uh, assignment, right? Okay. Short essay mm-hmm. type. Okay. Um, uh, when I look through the assignment, what I discover is, yes, maybe you did not copy from one person to another, mm-hmm. but you copied from the same source. Okay, for example, okay. when doing uh, they're doing their essay assignment uh-huh. on the definition part, uh-huh. for example, definition of organization, uh-huh. it's easy to Google now. Uh-huh. So you get from Wikipedia. Okay. And you just copy and paste inside your assignment. Uh-huh. And another friend of yours also did the same thing and copy and paste. Mm-hmm. So of course, when the same chat goes through, there's hundred percent overlap mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's it's good to Google to get information, but reword it in mm-hmm. your own way. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, do not copy word by word or a full paragraph. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I suspect most of the cases sometimes is because everybody copied from the same source. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. so of course, similar to chat will be you. You get penalty for that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, okay. my advice is is to be creative. Write it in your own way, mm-hmm. your own words, uh, the way you organize your assignment. Be creative. Mm-hmm. Be individual. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, is there any other uh, reminder for our learners when it comes to similarity check? Okay. Uh, normally. Uh, when the marks is out, mm-hmm. of course, uh, we get uh, complaints that students were not happy mm-hmm. with the marks. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, they they request for regrading, okay, mm-hmm. remarking of mm-hmm. the assignment. Okay, uh, it's okay. You you are entitled to request for remarking of the assignment, but still keep in mind that uh, after the remarking, mm-hmm. we'll still go through the similarity check. I see. Okay. Uh, you won't escape that part. Uh-huh. Correct, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it will still bear the same result. Yes. Right? We just uh-huh. uh, send your assignment to uh-huh. another grader, uh-huh. and then that grader will mark, and then uh-huh. we'll compare with the first grader. Maybe the first one is straight, uh-huh. depending on how the comment that we get from both graders. Uh-huh. But after that, we'll still put through the similarity check, uh-huh. and if you are found to, your assignment is overlapping with another student in your class. Then marks will still yeah, be still the same. Mm-hmm. So uh, if if well, this is not related, but it, I, it's similar. Yeah. Uh, what when should a student use remarking? Then when should a student request ask for, request, request for, for remarking? remarking. Let's try answer that <laughs> one. <laughs> okay, normally we will open the e form. Okay, e form under the e services. Uh-huh. Okay, under exam online. Uh-huh. Uh, two weeks after the result has been. Push no, okay, okay. For, the, for the students mm-hmm. as well. Okay, uh, one more thing to mm-hmm. be to be at uh, some points from Doctor City mm-hmm. to be reminded that um, remarking is not a tool to student to consider the penalty mm-hmm. because the penalty itself is a mandatory. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so if they gain a new mark, mm-hmm. okay, the same uh, what we call penalty. this uh, penalty. Uh-huh, will still uh, be applied. Still yeah, be applied. Yeah, yeah. So you uh-huh. cannot escape that, uh-huh. but uh, maybe some student thought after remarking they won't go through again yes. for the same uh-huh. check, similar check. Uh-huh. But we still do that. The penalty is still there. It's just that we have a second opinion uh-huh. um, whether the assignment worth the marks to be given or not. Okay. In some cases. Uh, the marks could be lower, lower than the first yeah. one if you are not careful when uh-huh. you apply and oh, you you end up with getting lower marks. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, you cannot go back to the higher. <laughs> you cannot. Okay, so the only way you can avoid this is to be an individual to write your own assignment. Simon, correct. My oh. advice: just be individual. Uh, do your best, mm-hmm. and uh, it's good to to get information to search online to do mm-hmm. some research. But put it in your own words. Mm-hmm. Never copy words by words or paragraph by paragraph. And try not to use uh, definition from Wikipedia, <laughs> the, the common definition yeah. that other people are, are uh, that can be accessible to other people mm-hmm. because there are bound people in your class, in your course that will use the same yeah. source. Mm-hmm. Unless you code. Mm-hmm. Okay, one way to, to avoid this is to code mm-hmm. correctly. Mm-hmm. That part, okay? Okay, okay, we're going to take a small break, but after the break, there's still a little bit more on assignments. So, if you enter the watch, stay tuned to iRadio or you are roaming across your mind.
Kata Radio OUM roaming across your mind. It's the final minutes of OUM cast today. Okay, and I'm with my guest, uh, Associate Professor Dr. Siti Aisha and Shahrizan from ITLA or the Institute for Teaching and Learning Advancement sharing with you about assignments. Okay, since we're already at the almost at the end of the segment, that's Steve. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to share with our listeners? Uh, okay, um, just some advice mm-hmm. uh, to our learners and the listeners uh, when you are you are uh, going to submit your assignment. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's important that you follow the instruction. Mm-hmm. Read carefully and then follow the instruction indicated uh, in the assignment mm-hmm. booklet. And uh, also uh, to be aware of the deadline. It's very important, as I stressed it before. To submit early, mm-hmm. do not do not submit at the 11 hours of the deadline, so that you don't encounter much problem uh, in terms of everybody uh, logging into the system at the same time. Mm-hmm. And then, should you have any problem with it, mm-hmm. do contact our people. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shah, can you give the contact person number? Mm-hmm. Contact and check Shalazi at zero three two seven seven three two one two two. Or Puan Nor Jahan at zero three two seven seven three two five zero nine. Make sure you upload the right document <laughs> for the right file for your course, the right course, and then um, always check uh, to see that you have done it correctly. Sometimes, and then get your ticket. Uh, that means the, the receipt <laughs> for your uploading, so that anything happen. We will be able to trace you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Another key point is when you are doing your assignment, mm-hmm. you are working on assignment. Be individual. Mm-hmm. Write your own way. Uh, you can discuss. It's okay to discuss. Mm-hmm. It's okay to Google to do some research, but do it in your own way. Um, there's rubric uh, or schema, but in terms of uh, most of the essay type, we have rubrics to help the students mm-hmm. uh, to 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 monitor or guide the student in terms of. What are the key points that are being highlighted there? Eh? Mm-hmm. What are needed from the students? So mm-hmm. look at your rubrics, and understand it, and uh, do it. Uh, one mistake is sometimes the students tend to ask their face-to-face tutor whether is it a good assignment, mm-hmm. or how much marks can they get. Mm-hmm. Okay, do not do that because your face-to-face tutor is not your grader. Mm-hmm. We have our specific pool of e graders being trained in OUM. To do all the grading process, mm-hmm. so you don't have to check with your face to face. Yeah, if you are stuck, you can ask, or you can ask even your e tutor, but don't rely on them. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think uh, that's anything you would like to add. Okay. Last but not least, uh, mm-hmm. student uh, must always check their OEM emails also. Yeah, mm-hmm. because because it is the main source of communication tools between uh, learners and with NS. Uh. Is the email always check your email? We always uh, put some messages on the emails mm-hmm. and also your portal, my BLE. Mm-hmm. Check them. There's a lot of new information, new announcement being posted on my BLE. Correct. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. I think uh, that's basically on assignment today okay. that we can share with our learners. Okay, so there you have it. Your assignments simplified right here on I Radio O U M. So if you have any questions, the numbers have been given. If you missed it, don't worry. We'll upload the video and the iCast itself to our portal. So to Dr. Siti, to Shahizan, thank you so much for spending your time with us. Yeah. Okay, and to all you listeners out there, stay tuned to I Radio O U M. More interesting segments are up ahead.